We're still waiting for the hunt ban to be repealed, so today the Coniston Foxhounds are hunting within the law. This footpack is designed to provide a vital fox control service on hill farms, and it is a grand day out for locals. We're probably letting about 25 go today, Yeah, somewhere in the region of 40 hounds altogether. And you're going to yeah. take a circuit up that hill up there? That's right. If anything, we've got more support than what we had before. It's quite important in the hills that we do control the foxes. The fell hound, uh, owing to the kind of terrain it has to hunt on, the mountains, uh, has to be a lot lighter made and more independent so as it can work on its own because uh, quite often, you know, nobody's actually with them, so they've got to do it themselves. And racy are built for going over the crags and big walls they have to contend with. And do they get, I mean, up here you could get lost for a day or so, couldn't you, at the end of the day? That must be a... Well, that's right, uh, especially if the mist comes down, which it can do, and then everybody lose his contact and uh, the hounds have to find their own way back but uh, most of them in the summer go out to the farms so they have a quite an idea of places where they can get back to so would you call them england's most intelligent foxhound as a result yes they seem to have you know quite a bit of brain on them uh, uh, to find their way back to places which they seem to do very well so we don't worry too much if they're missing. We know they'll turn in somewhere. Hounds move off and quickly pick up a scent. Their music rises out from among the trees and soon they are racing across the fell side. It's hard running for the whippers in. They don't use horses here. Tell us what fell hunting was like uh, when you used to come here before the ban. Well, obviously, in those days, we had to kill foxes. I mean, that was the important thing. That's a justification for it. It all started oh, a couple of hundred years ago, and every farm had their own hound or two. And they'd just meet up. They'd decide where they were going to meet on the Saturday, and they'd all bring their hounds. And slowly, it sort of coalesced into proper packs, and they'd have a huntsman who hunted them regularly. And in the old days, they'd just meet in one valley, and they'd just hunt that valley for the week. Um, and that still stays on very much as a tradition. If you look at the hunt meet cards now, you see they tend to be a week in Langdale, week in Estale, wherever, usually ending up with a hunt ball, because what you've got to remember is, up here, you haven't got the social life that you've got elsewhere, and particularly in the past, there wasn't much in the way of recreation. So the hunt in the valley was a big thing, and you had a ball at the end of it, but it wasn't sort of white tie and tails, it was just you took your wellies off, and it was a real sort of country dance, and there was a chance for the village to get together and have a bit of a sing-song and a dance. So it's a sport, but there's a very, very serious side to it, because... As a farmer up here, you're on the edge all the time. Now, if you think about it, a fox can take a dozen lambs easily. Lambs worth maybe £30 a throw. I can remember when I was filming with Border Television a few years ago and uh, on lambing calls, and a uh, farmer well, just tipped out a sack, 18 dead lambs. That was his summer holiday gone. You know, he could not take the wife and kids on holiday that year because a fox had just killed those lambs. But the great argument is, of course, you can go and shoot them or, you know, snare them or poison them or anything. <laughs> Just look around you. I mean, you know, and, and also remember this is a national park. We've got ramblers, we've got walkers, we've got campers, you've got people everywhere. And frankly, I mean, I shoot a lot, but I, I just know shooting foxes up here is impossible. Lamping? You're choking. Lamping on this kind of ground? You can't do it. And the only really safe way and secure way is with hounds. But also, of course, you've got your lambing calls. Now, this is the real key to it. When the season's officially ended, we're lambing quite late up here. You know, it can be April, May even. And you've got a fox coming down to the lambing field, killing lambs. So what happens is farmer gets onto the kennels and says, uh, can you come round? So they come round literally at first light, four in the morning. 
and they'll loose the hounds in the lambing field or just beside it. The hounds will pick up the drag of that fox, up the fell, often it's a vixen with cubs, and then it can either be bolted and shot, or if it won't bolt, they'll dig down and shoot it there. And that is crucial. I mean, that is the only sensible way you can control it. And I mean, I know people do, lots of farmers I know, they've sat up at night with a shotgun trying to get the fox. It doesn't work. Let's leave the Coniston as they check, in a wood, 